everyone, it's Felix, and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the Hephaesto, one of the hardest pulling exercises in calisthenics. Some of the reasons why I think this is one of the best pulling exercises is because you are curling your whole body weight behind your back, forcing you to isolate your bicep much more than other calisthenics exercises. The strength developed in Hephaesto also transfers to many more skills in calisthenics, as it engages other muscle groups such as your lats, deltoids, and chest. Because you are using all your body weight, this exercise will fatigue you much quicker, helping you to reach hypertrophy and tear much more muscle fibers, and therefore growing muscle and strength with less reps. Today, we will be covering prerequisites to make sure you have sufficient strength to start learning this exercise. We will go over the technique on how to execute the Hephaesto effectively with good form. We will cover common mistakes that people tend to make and also progressions you can take towards learning the Hephaesto. The prerequisites you will need is to skin the cat for at least three reps to make sure you can enter the position and hold your body behind your back. You will also need the supinated back lever hold for at least 10 seconds to make sure you have the foundational bicep strength to start pulling from behind your back. And you will also need a false grip muscle up for at least five reps to make sure you can have a solid false grip as that is an important factor in learning Hephaesto. In regards to form, the first thing you will want to make sure is that you have a suitable grip width. Depending on how flexible your wrist is, some people will prefer to grip narrower, while some people like myself with less wrist flexibility will prefer to grip wider. Make sure to also have a good false grip with your thumb around the bar. This will allow for your weight to rest on the palm of your hand rather than on your fingers. And in turn, this will make getting above the bar easier when you reach the top of the movement. In terms of scapular position, you will want to make sure your scapula is protracted and depressed in order to achieve maximum engagement. Another thing to be wary of is to make sure that your elbows flare outwards in the concentric part of this movement, as that engages much less push dominant muscles, such as your chest and deltoids. This will allow for more isolation of the biceps. Lastly, when doing the Hephaesto, you will want to make sure you have full range of motion by making sure that your lower back touches the bar before coming up and over the bar. This will allow for maximum bicep contraction in this movement, and as a calisthenics athlete, this is the cleanest form you can have with Hephaesto. Now for our first progression, we have Hephaesto pumps. You will realize when learning Hephaesto that the most challenging part of this movement is unlocking your arms at the bottom of each rep. This is why you will want to place emphasis on training that specific section of the movement. You will want to use resistance bands as they are your best friend when learning the skill. For each repetition, make sure to pause at the bottom with fully locked out arms for approximately 3 seconds. This reduces any chance for stretch reflex in the muscle. As soon as you have bent your arms, you will want to hold that position for as long as you can in order to maximize time under tension and that will allow your body to adapt to the strenuous position. You should be using a band that allows you to hit three reps of this movement per set. And before moving on to the next progression, you will want to be able to do three reps of this movement without any resistance band. The second progression is banded Hephaesto. The reason why I recommend this progression is that by using resistance, you are able to get your body to adapt to the whole and final movement that you are aiming to achieve. This will progressively strengthen neural connections that are specific to the Hephaesto movement, which in turn develops more strength in this skill. You will want to hang the band around your neck like a necklace, and then sit on top of the bar. When you're on top of the bar, you will want to thread the band backwards so it hangs behind you and around the front of your waist. You will then want to step into the band with the heels of your feet. At this point, you are ready to attempt your assisted Hephaesto. At the beginning, it is going to be expected that you require a very thick band, or even perhaps mini bands. If you are in a situation whereby you need to bail from this movement, you will need to roll forwards like you would in a skin the cat exercise, and then you will be released from the band assistance. The third progression is the eccentric Hephaesto. You will want to do this progression without any resistance bands. This allows your body to adapt to the full movement without any resistance. By doing the eccentric, 
you're progressing towards being able to do the concentric part of this movement. You will want to start off with a false grip, and as you come down, you will want to enter into a Hephaesto touch position first. Then as slowly as you can, you want to drop down until you lock out your arms. Throughout this whole movement, you want to keep a good false grip and protracted scapular position. You should aim to perform at least three reps of this movement without any band assistance. The Hephaesto can be a stubborn exercise to learn, but so long as you are patient and remember that along the way, you are growing muscle and developing an incredible amount of strength, that is what will keep you motivated to keep it going, and one day being able to do the Hephaesto. Also note that it is expected that in your earlier days of having learned your Hephaesto, that you will likely be unable to achieve the full range of motion, but as you continue to improve in this element, your ability to reach full range of motion should improve. I want to give a shout out to Effortless, Ultimate AU, Science Squad, and Gore Nation for the clothing, equipment, and accessories provided here today in this video. Effortless is an NZ calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics clothing and accessories. Ultimate AU is an Australian calisthenics brand and provides calisthenics equipment, clothing, accessories, and hosts Australasian-wide calisthenics competitions. Science Squad is an Australian calisthenics team that has competed in multiple calisthenics competitions all over Australasia. And Gore Nation is arguably the world's largest calisthenics equipment and clothing provider. Before we end this video, if you are interested in personal training, please fill in the Google form in my bio. I will also drop the link in the description of this video. And follow me on Instagram at Felix underscore NG 2K03. That is where I post a lot of my calisthenics content. And if you're keen to see a tutorial for another calisthenics skill, drop a comment below and I'll see what I can put together. I love you all and thanks for watching.